Hi, my name is David Sullivan, and I'm going to do a little segment here on a repair that we did on our plow truck. It's a 1990 Chev uh, 2500 GMC 2500 uh, three-quarter ton truck with a 350 throttle body injection um, OBD1, and uh, I'll show you our repair. The problem I was running into is that uh, it became a no-start intermittently. Everything seemed to be working well. It has a new fuel pump. Uh, plugs are good, lots of fire, injectors are firing, I can manually fire them, everything looks good. Um, truck would run, then it would stall, and it was idling rough. We replaced the IAC motor, which is the idle air control motor, and that smoothed out the idling, but every once in a while it would just stall and not come back. Um, as a, on a fluke note, I noticed that when it wasn't starting or running, nothing would trigger, the relays for the fuel control wouldn't go off, the injectors wouldn't fire, and the big thing for me was that the engine light wouldn't come on, no matter what I did. Even when I put it in diagnostics mode with the little pin in the AB trick, uh, the engine light wouldn't come on. Um, that led me to believe there was something wrong with the computer. So I'm going to take you over now and show you what I was looking at and what we found. Out. Okay, this is a 1990 GMC 2500, standard, uh, your late model as they would call it. Um, this has the computer, or we call it the ECM or PCM, whatever you like to call it, is in the glove box, usually hidden down in that corner right over there. So if you can see, here's our glove box. It's usually in that corner back there. You unplug the plugs, you can pull these out, they don't usually have screws, they have little clips on them. This is your ECM. So these plugs right here have color-coded wires all to them. And I was researching it took me forever because nobody wants to share any wire codes or anything. The only information I needed to know was that there is a pink and black wire. Just a sec, I'll turn the light on here. Ooh, light on. So there's a pink and black wire right here. If you can see that pink and black. And it's on the small, so there's two connectors. There's a small connector and a large connector. I believe, I'm not 100% correct, but the small connector is mainly for things into the computer, and the large connector is mainly for things out. Not 100% sure, but here's what I do know. On the small connector, there's a pink with a black line. You can see that right there, if I can get that black line up. You can see the black line on it, see? Pink with black line. That is your ignition wire. That has to come from the ignition power. That tells the computer you're starting things up and getting ready to go. The other thing to note is that we have a orange wire. There's two orange wires. There's one there, one there, and there's a third one down inside here that's an orange with a black. You see the black stripe on that one, orange and black. The orange and black one is not important to us. What is important are these two orange wires. The two orange wires are supposed to have power in from the battery. Now this is fused power. So what I did was I unplugged this plug and this one, and I checked the injectors and all that sort of stuff there. But on this plug, I used a light tester, just a simple one of these, ground, ground it there, oh, sorry, one of these type of uh, $10, $11 light tester, and when I use that I tested these plugs. What I was looking for was power on this orange one and this orange one, and when I turned the key on I should have got power on that purple one there. When I turned the key on, the purple one got power, but these two orange ones weren't getting any power. So that was a repair that they addressed earlier. I'll take you out and show you that right now. So here we are in the engine compartment. You can see engine compartment. Okay. So earlier, like a year or two ago, Dad had this worked on. And these wires, these orange wires, these two that come out here are the two that I showed you. Oh, if I can get down here. So these two right here, those two on my fingers, are the two that come out of the firewall in the big harness down here. Oh, there we go. If we can get in there, that harness there. So I found those two wires. I brought them out. I connected them to another length of wire here. So you can see I got them here. And make sure, it's very, very important. This is what they didn't do in the previous repair. The previous repair, they twisted them together and put black tape on them. They corroded. They corroded so bad that they broke off and they were just barely touching and connecting once in a while. That gave us our intermittent connection. 
Now we have a good solid connection. When I'm done this here video, I'm going to tape these all up so they're covered and protected. I added another little length of wire here. I found it and had an orange chunk laying around. And he ran it up here. Now these wires were all taped together in that same bunch. I soldered that connection again. I'll tape that back up again. But these are all running. I don't know where that one goes, but it was in the bunch. So I made sure they were still together. But this one here, which should be orange, but it's black for now, is one that they added in the last repair. They put an inline fuse. So this is sloppy. This is a plow truck. I'm not worried about it, but looking pretty. But this comes right off of our power block. This power block is live from the battery at all times. It's not off the ignition. So this gives us a 20 amp fuse. It goes in and runs our, our fuel solenoid for our fuel pump. Comes back out here through this wire and down to this connection so that we're not dragging everywhere. Down through this connection and gives us power to our computer. That's our live power and it's fused. So we've got it on this fuse block. After connecting all of that, soldering everything together and replacing the IAC motor, We'll walk around here and start her up. It's a chilly winter morning here, or afternoon, evening, I guess. So, jumping in the truck. We did have some fuel problems, had some bad fuel, had um, uh, methanol in it, cleaned it all out, added really good fuel, got that straightened out. Hooked this all up, and here's the magic. I'm going to show you the dash here. While okay, I... here we are. Here's our plow truck dash. So, I turn the key. And you can see the engine light comes on. The engine light would not come on before. That tells me I have connection to the computer and that the computer is on. Everything's lit up and everything looks well. Turn the key and she starts. The nice thing is the IAC motor, the idle air control, is doing its job. The computer has full-time power. And our engine light has gone out. It tells me we have no codes. All is well. So I'm making this video so that anybody else runs into these problems. If you have checked everything that you can think of, a simple thing you can always check are just those two plugs on the back of the computer. It's an easy check. You just Unplug them and check for power on the orange wires. Make sure they have power. And then your pink with the black stripe, make sure that has power. If they all have power, plug it back in. Give it a try. But if, now mind you, this only works. If the engine light is not coming on and you got no start and the truck won't run, that's what you do. There's another thing what led me to this, just so you know. It's an OBD1 which means it has this connector up under the dash here. There it is. That connector is OBD1. And if you put a little metal wire in the top right two, okay, if we count from the right side, heading towards the left on the top row, number one and number two, plug a, a paper clip or another piece of wire, something in there, that tells the computer you're in diagnostics mode. If you do that, your engine light will flash and give you codes if you have any. In this case, we don't have any. So, as a note to my dad who is away in Nova Scotia, the plow truck is working awesome. Everything is running well. The computer is working well. This is Dave Sullivan. Hi. So this is Dave Sullivan in Canada, St. John New Brunswick, and I hope this was useful for you. If you have a GMC or anything that has an OBD1 computer, Watch for those orange wires. There should be two of them that have power from the battery and make sure it's fused. And make sure you solder your connections. Second, make sure your pink with the black stripe has power from your ignition. If that's in there, it should run. And uh, watch for that engine light. If the engine light's not coming on, it's got to be a sign something's wrong. So this is Dave Sullivan. It's been a great time uh, doing this video and I appreciate it. Hope you like it. Leave any comments. And uh, if I fix anything else, I'll let you know. Thank you.